All right, we're going to go back to the questions in just a minute, but now we'd like to welcome Kara back to the uh, Homer Con line. Hi, Kara, how are you? Hi, Hi. how are you? So what do you got for us today? So here we have Harold. Harold. He is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Cool. And they're located in Madagascar, <laughs> okay. which some kids think that that's just a, a movie, but it's oh, actually yeah. a real place, right. um, which is an island off of Africa. Okay. So cockroaches get a bad name, but are they really that bad? They're really not that bad. 99% uh, of most cockroaches aren't going to be the ones that are living in your house. Okay. They're actually okay. going to be living on forest floors under um, tree bark and shrubs and things okay. like that. What do they eat? These guys will eat almost anything. <laughs> they're scavengers, they're opportunistic, they'll eat whatever they can find. Um, ours, we feed um, different fruits, different vegetables, but they also love things like Cheerios right. as a treat and sure. dog food, as dried dog food as well. Cheerios. But in the wild, they'll eat rotten um, fruits, vegetables, right. things like that. that are on the How floor. long does this insect live? Two years, three years really? sometimes. Oh, they can actually wow. live up to five though. That's a long time yeah, for an insect. It's, it's pretty long, yeah. It's okay, it's a good, good lifespan. Tell us a little bit about the exoskeleton of this animal. Yeah, so um, insects are very interesting uh, where they have an exoskeleton, which is this hardened shell that you'll see on the outside of them. We have an endoskeleton, so ours is actually inside, um, the opposite from these guys, which it is outside. So, oh, he's going to his for <laughs> um, So this is just uh, hard to the touch, and it helps to um, protect him. It's almost like an armor. Okay. It'll help to protect okay. what's inside of him. Nice. He's an insect, so he's also got the six legs, okay. and he's got three body parts. He's got his head, which is actually underneath here. Yeah, you're showing that. And then he's got his thorax, earlier. and his abdomen is this light part here. Cool. Wow. Yeah. So how can you tell if it's a male or a female? So with the males, they have a prominent horn, it looks like, on the top of their head. So you'll notice these two oh, okay. big bumps that yeah. are right here. Nice. Um, they use them in battles. So they try to, to show dominance between right. males. So the bigger the horns. Like horns yeah, yes. gotcha. the bigger the horns. They the, actually the fight. Better. Yeah, right. they do. They do fight. Okay, why do they hiss? So they hiss as a defense, and you can actually hear them. They're very, very loud when they hiss. Um, they use it as a defense. Um, they can also use it, again, in those fights. It right. helps to prove dominance. The louder the hiss, the, the more angry it is. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so they'll use it to, for dominance. Uh, they'll also just use it if they're distressed or being handled or something right. along those lines. Very cool. All right. He's cool looking. Yes, he is. Isn't he great? Yeah. Harold. Harold, yep. Show, Look at Harold show here. your face to everybody. Yeah, so this is actually his face, which is underneath. It's this little um, triangle part that's underneath. Now his, you brought us another his, insect? I did bring another insect. Not an insect. Ooh. So it's going to be not an insect. Um, okay. It's going to be a little different from our friend here. Um, insects, again, have six legs, yes. and they have three body parts. So what's the difference between an insect and a bug? So a bug, it can be a type of insect. Gotcha. There are true bugs okay. that are types of insects. Gotcha. Yeah. Ooh, so this guy here, this, scary. Is, <laughs> this is Vinny. Vinny is what is called a vinegar scorpion oh, cool. um, so he's he's a type of arachnid yes. so he's gonna have eight legs which he's got these three here and then he's got two that he uses as feelers out gotcha. here he's also got two that are pincher look that look like pinchers and those oh, two front, yeah. yep those two I'll try and turn them so you can see them a little bit better his pinchers there um, people think are used to, to pinch or to hurt yep. and that's why they get nervous when I pick him right up but they really use it to eat they All use right. them almost like hands oh to okay eat. put the prey in their mouth all right um, how is a scorpion different from a hissing cockroach? So this guy here, he's got the eight legs versus the right. six. Yep. He still has the exoskeleton, but he's only got two body parts uh -huh. here instead of the instead oh. of the three. Cephalothorax. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I teach science. I know this one. So where are these guys located? Uh, these guys are going to be southern United States. All right. Find them in Arizona, places like that. Oh, yeah. So okay. Florida, yeah. Louisiana, places sure. like that. But you're not going to find them in your shoe. You know, you can find some okay. scorpions. Oh, they make you check your shoes yeah. and things like that. These guys aren't aren't going to be there. Um, you're going to find them more under rocks and things like that, nice. high elevations. Okay. Okay. So you just you, you just told us a little bit about. Um, where they find them in the surroundings, but like, are they out in gardens and things like that? Where do you no, find them? No, higher elevations, definitely. So you're not okay. gonna find them near your houses. You'll find them up on mountains and things right. like that. Oh, okay. okay. Now, okay. can you tell us a little bit about how these things would raise their young or about their young? Yeah, so the, um, they're cute. young. Once they um, once they ha have their, their eggs hatched, they actually ride on their back until really? their first molt, ride on the mom's back until no their first molt. Yep. And then they'll molt four times throughout their life. So about a year apart. And after each molt is when they'll grow a little bit bigger. And a little so bigger. molting means they're gonna like a shed yeah, their shed their shed their skin, well skin, exoskeleton. exoskeleton yeah. right. Oh, it snakes. Yep, yeah, exactly. Okay. Same same idea. It'll come off um, fairly soft in the beginning, and then it takes about a year for it to harden and wow. get to, to be like this. Like circadians, you see yep. them stuck on the side of a tree or something like that, yeah. and then exactly. just a shell. Excellent. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Why is the word vinegar in the name? <laughs> 
<laughs> so people ask that all the time. They they um, kind of nicknamed them vinegaroon scorpions. That's because they have this really nice cool whip tail that they have. It's a very long tail. Underneath that, um, they can actually release a smell or a scent, and it's um, it's it's acid, and it smells just like vinegar. Right. They'll actually spray oh. that right in their predators. They have very good aim, so right in their face usually. Right. And then that predator's got to clean it off, and they right. see them running away, shaking their head because they sure. they don't like it, obviously. Well, don't point that tail toward me. So what about <laughs> eyesight? How are these guys for sight? So they don't have great eyesight, which is surprising because they do have eight eyes. They ah. have three on each side and two in the front. So you would think that they, you know, sure. more eyes the better, but no, they don't have great eyesight. They're nocturnal. I'd hate to buy glasses for that. Exactly. Right? <laughs> I think it's expensive for your two eyes. Can you imagine? Right? Now, are these like in the very front there? Mm -hmm. Are those claws or? So they is, use these. What is it? These things here, no, which are are they they're claw like, um, and they use them to actually pick up their prey and put it towards their mouth, which is pretty cool. And the mouth is the other the mouth piece is way right, back in there. Yeah, right okay. back in that, there. Okay, because that sort of look like nails coming yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. Now, do they use their antennas like some insects do, where they'll go out and use them as a feelers? They actually use these first two uh, appendages, yes, as feelers. They also use their tail for that too. Cool. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Use both things. All Excellent. right. Well, thank you very much thank for you. coming. It was nice to see you guys Excellent. again. Excellent. Nice to see you. Cool. Want to know more about this animal and others like it? Go to our website, homeworkhotline.org, and click on videos. Stay right there. We'll be back in a second.